one of the most destructive and terrifying natural disasters that our Earth has to give us are volcanoes. Powerful enough to do anything from destroying cities to affecting global climates, volcanoes are literal doorways to hell, pathways to the molten areas under the Earth's crust. Scientists have developed a scale to measure the intensity of volcanic eruptions. Very similar to the Richter scale for earthquakes, the size and intensity of volcanic eruptions is measured using something called the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or the VEI. The scale goes from a 1 to an 8. Eruptions ranked as a 1 are very small outpourings of lava, while eruptions classified as an 8 are the ones that are the most explosive and devastating. But of all the volcanic eruptions in recent history, five have stood above the rest as being the largest. From Krakatoa to Mount Tambora, here are the top five largest volcanic eruptions in recorded history. Laki is a volcano in southern Iceland that is bisected by a volcanic fissure, which is a long, linear vent through which lava erupts. A violent eruption in 1783 caused massive amounts of damage and affected regions that extended far past the Icelandic borders. For starters, this eruption was not like any other eruption in recorded history. It lasted for eight months, between June of 1783 and February of 1784 ejecting an estimated 3.4 cubic miles of basalt lava. Lava flow destroyed 20 villages. Additionally, there was enough poisonous gases expelled to contaminate soil and create acid rain that poured over much of the region. As a result, over 50% of the island's livestock died, as did nearly all of the crops grown. This led to a widespread famine, which killed over 10,000, which was roughly a quarter of the island's population. The effects were not just felt in Iceland, though. During the eruption period, 8 million tons of hydrogen fluoride and nearly 120 million tons of sulfur dioxide were expelled into the atmosphere. In Africa and India, the monsoon seasons produced much less rain, which resulted in famine and lower river flows. In Europe, a thick haze settled over the continent, killing tens of thousands by way of poisoning. In Great Britain alone, over 23,000 people died from respiratory issues linked to the eruption. The northern island of Luzon in the Philippines is home to Mount Pinatubo, an active volcano that is part of the Zambales Mountains. In June of 1991, the volcano erupted with enough power to send shockwaves around the Earth. Leading up to the eruption, though, there had been warning signs that activity was brewing just below the surface. From June 7th to the 12th, the first magma reached the surface of the volcano. However, there were very few gases found in this magma, and it just oozed out to form a lava dome. But it was only the beginning. On June 12th, more magma came to the surface accompanied by gases. Millions of cubic yards of ash and lava exploded, blackening the sky. As powerful as this eruption was, though, it was still not the worst the mountain had to offer. On June 15, 1991, an even larger pocket of magma and gas reached the surface, resulting in a VEI-6 explosion that ejected over 1.2 cubic miles of material. Huge pyroclastic flows were sent down the mountain, destroying everything in its path. It was even enough to fill valleys that were 660 feet deep. So much magma and rock from below the volcano was ejected that the summit collapsed, leaving a caldera that measured 1.6 miles wide. Although only 722 people were killed, the eruption left more than 200,000 people homeless. The average temperature of the Earth lowered by over half a degree for almost two years afterwards. Just outside of El Salvador's capital city, San Salvador, lies the Ilopango Volcano. Ranking as a 6 to 7 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, this volcano had a huge eruption sometime around 450 AD, although the exact date isn't known. It was the largest eruption in the country during the past 10,000 years, as well as the largest in Central America. When Ilopango erupted, the blast destroyed several Mayan cities, nearly wiping out the population in the area. However, the deaths from this eruption did not happen all at once, but spanned over a few months. 
This eruption ejected more than 70 cubic kilometers of tephra and spewed enough ash to cover over 10,000 square kilometers 50 millimeters deep. It is believed that this eruption was responsible for a global climate cooling event that was felt as far away as Rome. Because of this climate change, crops failed and people starved. In the immediate area, the skies were filled with ash and dust for more than a year. Over 100,000 people died, with more than 400,000 people being displaced from their homes. The once thriving Mayan population was forced from the highlands, fleeing to the lowland areas in Guatemala and Belize. The region would not fully recover for another several centuries. In 1883, on the Indonesian island of Krakatoa, one of the most violent eruptions to ever be seen occurred. It was so powerful that it almost completely destroyed the island on which it resides. In the years before the eruption, the area experienced regular seismic activity. The intensity of these volcanoes was felt as far away as Australia. Beginning in May of 1883, steam venting began to occur. In the following weeks, minor eruptions would occur. Thick, black clouds of ash would cover the island for days at a time. They caused the tides to be unusually high. Even earthquakes were triggered in the surrounding areas. Finally, on August 27th of that year, four enormous explosions occurred which marked the climax of the eruption. The first occurred at 5.30 a.m., triggering a massive tsunami that traveled towards modern-day Bandar Lampung. The second explosion happened at 6.44 a.m., triggering another tsunami that traveled both eastward and westward. The third explosion was the largest, happening at 10.02 a.m. It was so violent and loud, measuring between a 6 and a 7, that it could be heard over 1,900 miles away in Perth, Western Australia. The loudness of the blast has been estimated to have been 310 decibels, even louder than the largest man-made explosion the Tsar Bomba. At 10.41 a.m., a landslide on the Rakata volcano triggered the fourth explosion, resulting in nearly 70% of the island being destroyed. The combination of pyroclastic flows and tsunamis claimed the lives of over 36,000 people and the destruction of the island. Topping off our list at number one is the eruption of Mount Tambora, measuring as a seven on the VEI. It is not only the most powerful volcanic eruption in recorded history, it is also the deadliest. Mount Tambora is located on the island of Sambawa in Indonesia. In the early 1800s, it was part of the Dutch East Indies. Until 1812, the volcano had experienced several centuries of dormancy, but that year, magma started filling the volcano's chamber once again, and the mountain periodically rumbled and produced dark clouds. It continued like this for the next couple of years, culminating in a catastrophic event in 1815. On April 5th, the volcano exploded, generating a sound wave that was heard up to 870 miles away. But this wasn't an isolated explosion. Mount Tambora stayed in a state of eruption for days. On April 10th, the eruptions intensified. The entire mountain was nearly turned into a flowing mass of lava. Flaming pumice stones measuring around 8 inches in diameter were spit out raining down on nearby villages. Soon after, pyroclastic flows cascaded down every side of the mountain into the sea below, destroying cities and villages. After everything was said and done, every bit of vegetation on the island was destroyed, and over 120,000 lives were lost. Along with creating clouds that rained ash on countries hundreds of miles away, the tsunamis generated took the lives of nearly 4,600 from East Java to the Molucca Islands. As the volcano ejected between 38 and 43 cubic miles of material into the atmosphere, it affected global temperatures by nearly a full degree. There has been no volcanic eruption since to have exacted such a toll, both in terms of climate and lives lost. While volcanic eruptions are scary, they're really no match for supervolcanoes. To see our video about the biggest supervolcanoes on Earth, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.